I'm glad to have you here today. Today, we want to talk about uh, running Facebook ads and um, the best way to run Facebook ads to your WhatsApp. And it is said about uh, mastering profitable Facebook ads. You know, it's important to run your Facebook ads to your WhatsApp, especially if you don't have a website or, um, or what is it called? Um, an e-commerce store where they can go to find your product and buy from there. So you can run to WhatsApp so that your potential customers can chat up with you directly in WhatsApp. And it is very profitable to have the contact of your potential customers. The reason is this, if you have them in your contacts, you can always go back to these ones. You can always reach out to them and uh, sell more to them because you can run your product on your WhatsApp status. They will see it and they will order from you. You can sometimes send a um, bulk message broadcast to them. You can as well send them bulk SMS if it is permissible in your land. You know, so it is profitable to have the contacts of these ones. I'm Chibu Zokuro, and friends call me Benu. So um, we want to start with this right away. You create the ad and begin to direct your audience to your WhatsApp. Where do you start? It all begins with um, your Facebook page. Yes, to run a Facebook ad to your WhatsApp, you must have a Facebook page. And your Facebook page must have your um your WhatsApp contact, your WhatsApp business contact as part of the Facebook page. For example, look at this page now that um, I'm preparing to run for someone, for one of my clients. You see, this is a, the WhatsApp button here. The moment you click this WhatsApp button, let's say someone um, who is interested in what they are selling, to click, the moment the person clicks this WhatsApp button, it takes the person direct to the WhatsApp, to their uh, WhatsApp, and they begin to chat from there. And that is how it is with all the posts here. All the posts, you see, uh, for example, look at this one here. Okay, okay, it's not showing here on the post. Oh, okay, look at this here. So you see the WhatsApp button is here because it's uh, activated. Okay, I've not activated on those other ones. However, what is here is that uh, when once someone is interested in any of their products and click the WhatsApp button, it will immediately start a chat with them directly on their WhatsApp. You see how straight and easy it is. And if even if it is not there, you see they have their WhatsApp here and you can still call them. So it is good you create a page first. You must create a page. It is not it is good. You must create a page where you can run your WhatsApp ads, your Facebook WhatsApp ads. If you already have a page, but your button is not there, then it is important you include your button. You go back to the, go to your page and uh, you go to the setting. Okay, no, not here. Let me go to the okay. So here, this is a your page you as the admin. You are in the admin section, the admin part of your website. Um, your Facebook page. You come to the say manage page here. Look at this um, meta business suit. The things on that. Scroll down here. Scroll down the the menu. You see setting. Click on the setting. And then scroll down again and look for WhatsApp. This is WhatsApp. Click on WhatsApp. So here, okay, I already connected a number here to the WhatsApp business, yeah, the WhatsApp business. But if, if I want to change the number, I'll just click here and change it. If I want to disconnect this number from functioning on this page, I'll just disconnect. I'll say WhatsApp account page setting. Use WhatsApp as an action button. Yes, you see this button is on because I want to use it as an action button, as a call to action, where you can just tell someone, click here. 
and it does and there is good show whatsapp number on page you see my own is on you can stay on your own so that when someone comes to your page you can see your whatsapp number or, and then call your number if he wants to call you directly or the person can easily um, whatsapp you directly if since it is on so that is it you set up your page then we go back to the ads manager to begin the creation of the ad itself here we create this is a, the create button you click on the create button okay so you click you click on the create button and they uh, begin to say account people again you need to confirm if you did it as well to your account before you can publish an ad if one okay so I will check about this later. So we continue with the the creation. So you check your campaign objective here. The campaign objective is a message, right? Yes, we're using message because we are creating. And then you click continue. All right, so you give a name to your campaign. Give a name to your campaign. Let's say um, we simply use the name um, WhatsApp ad. WhatsApp ad. WhatsApp ad. Training. WhatsApp ad training. Once you do this, you don't need to do anything else here. You don't need to do anything else here. You simply go to next. Forget about don't leave the campaign budget. Leave it here. Just go to next. Okay, so we are now in the ad set section. So here in the ad set. You name your ad set. Let's take give it a WhatsApp ad training. Abbreviated WhatsApp ad training. Okay. You now scroll down. Ad type. The ad type is a click to message. Let it be click to message. So when someone clicks here, the person will message you directly. The messaging app, we are using WhatsApp, not Messenger, not Instagram. So we simply choose WhatsApp as our messaging um, app. We move on. Okay. You see, here, there is Facebook page. So it's asking which page, Facebook page do I want to use? If you look at this one now, this one that is here does not have a WhatsApp number connected to it, but look at this. The WhatsApp number is already connected. You can see that. So it didn't ask for it to be connected again. Connects to fashion. So you see it there. So if this number number connection connections in face setting, WhatsApp information including names and phone numbers is subject to the data use restrictions in the Facebook advertising policies. Your business and ads must also comply with the WhatsApp commerce policy. Your ads that click to WhatsApp show active on WhatsApp. When you're using the WhatsApp business app, this lets people view your ads know they can expect a quick reply. You can turn this off in your WhatsApp privacy setting. So that is the thing. But we have chosen that and we we'll continue. Now you set your budget. 
it doesn't matter the currency you use it don't matter the currency you can set your budget to your currency i'm using naira here i can decide to set my budget to be 5000 naira that is my daily budget okay like okay 5000 it can be it can be um it can be five dollar ten dollar don't matter the currency you use just set to what your budget can carry for the ad you want to run for that day don't set any end dates just as you have a put your budget to screw to fill other things of course on how to fill all these things and other things i thoroughly discuss this on the part three of this video series now you set your audience you set your audience you can choose location where you want your audience to be uh, you choose uh, Okay, this is Nigeria here. I can decide to choose any other country where the ad is. Let's say um, if I'm running the ads for a client in Ghana or South Africa, or a client in Kenya or anywhere else, I will certainly choose the country where the audience of the client is. He, of course, would decide where he wants his ads to run, then I choose that for him. Uh, if I want to choose just a location, maybe not the whole, um not the whole country i may decide to choose whichever one i want if i want just uh maybe just lagos alone i can do that if i want um okay location this is as i mean i want the ads to run only to abuja i will do that I'll choose Abuja. Yes. I'll choose Abuja here. That is just what is here. You get. Okay, but there is something here. It's a plus a radius, or maybe a, a kilometer of a 40 kilometers radius. That is to say, someone who is not just in Abuja, but then maybe suburbs of Abuja. They will see the ad. If I don't want that, I could reduce this number. Instead of 40, I could reduce this to maybe 20. Just within the area that uh, I want. You see now. So it has shifted some places who are that are close to Abuja, but I, where I don't want the ads to be. Or the places where I don't want them to see the ad, so they will not see the ad. If let's say I want the ad also to show to people in Accra, maybe because I have a, a good number of um, customers there, I will add Accra here. Good. So this is Accra here, but it's saying that uh, the ad will also be shown to people living 40, um, 40 kilometers from Accra. And if I don't want that, maybe I don't have the capacity to deliver to people who are outside Accra, I will have to reduce the, the kilometer to just maybe like 20 or maybe 15, just to be sure that, uh, okay, 17 is the minimum, just to be sure that uh, it covers just within people in that area that I want. This is if you actually want to target a certain region. You do your targeting that way. You add wherever you want and remove the ones that uh, you don't want. You can still increase to even get to more persons. Then for age, you choose your age, the age brackets whom you are targeting. If it is for gender, you can decide whether it is for men or for women or all gender. It all depends on what you're selling. If maybe you're selling women clothing, for example, you can just choose only women. If it is men clothing, you choose only men clothing. But if you're selling something for the both gender, you can choose the belt um, for the both gender. Sometimes I choose the both gender. Sometimes I have to do them apart, depending on what the stuff I'm selling is. 
Then for targeting, if you see here, all demographics, interests, and behaviors, detailed targeting expansion is off. So Facebook ha has off this for the for WhatsApp ad. If you are running um, ads like uh, maybe your is a, con a, con a conversion ad or traffic ad or any other one, you will see the detail com the detail targeting. But here it is off. And the detail targeting is about uh, targeting, if you insist on targeting specific set of persons, maybe you are selling something about uh, uh, diabetes, maybe diabetic tea, or you, you, you want to target people who are actually suffering from diabetes or related sickness. You want to target them. But here, yeah, Facebook say no. If you are running message, um, if you're running message uh, um, campaign, as your objective that you don't target anything it is off but then there is a way you can go about it if you insist on targeting if i'm the one advertising i may leave it but if you insist on targeting a specific set of persons that you want to see your ad see what you will do so that um you will still target now go back to the campaign itself to the main campaign remember we are on the access now but go back to the campaign and click click the campaign okay um and then come to the objective and it did remember we we chose message messages at the beginning but because we now want to use that which Facebook said we should not use. That is a detailed targeting. Choose traffic. Say so your settings may change. No problem. Continue. Now let's go back to the ad set. Remember we've cha we changed our objective to um, traffic. Okay. That means we have to change this. This WhatsApp. We have to change it and then choose websites. The reason we are doing this is simply because we want to make use of that detailed targeting. You know, detailed targeting, edit now. So you see, we can now edit. At first, we did not have that to edit because Facebook switched that off. So you can now start targeting who you want. Uh, assuming I'm, I'm targeting people with uh, weight problem, they want to have, they want to lose weight. Mm. Or maybe, okay, uh, yes, I'm targeting that. For example, it's only an example. I cannot begin to target them. I can say um, weight loss T. Weight loss T. Is there anything like that? No, no interest like that. Okay, let me find something else that they need. Um, okay, with sing, okay, with signature. Ready? Is it there? It's not still there. Include people who match. Okay. Okay. Waste clothing. There. Mm. Tommy. See. Facebook have removed a lot of all those are targeting. Okay, I'm just trying to target something that is reasonable so that. Um, You'll be able to diabetes. Okay. 
Let me say, let me use. Okay, let's use an example of someone who sells um, cake. Someone who makes a cake maker, a cake designer. So the cake, you choose cake here. Maybe you say birthday cake. Birthday. Birthday cake. Okay. So we want to do birthday wedding cake. Wedding cake. So many, many, many other things, and you begin to use the suggestions to set to check whatever things that you need. Okay, let's say we have um selected this audience of this kind of a persons here as your audience you've selected this as your audience okay now the next is a save this audience you save this audience so i will save it as a cake customers or audience for example audience mm -hmm. save now this audience is a uh, saved this audience is saved i will go back i will go back to because the objective here remember is we want to make create ad for people to chat you up directly on your whatsapp when they click your ad you start chatting with them on the whatsapp so i now go back to the campaign again see it here this whatsapp ask training the campaign that is the campaign the main campaign i go back there to change the objective see campaign objective we want to change it back to messages messages so your setting may change no wahala Okay, it has been changed to messages again. Now I will go back to the ad set, which is a simply abbreviated it is. Okay. I want to receive my message on WhatsApp, not on Messenger. Okay. All right, no, this is the page that I want to use, Red Concept Fashion. Okay. I reset the budget once more. I can use 5,000 Naira. You can set your own to your currency or just use dollar straight up this account is set to naira so you can use dollar you can use five dollar ten dollar ten um twenty dollar whatever whichever thing is your budget for the um for the day mind you you see here the estimates say with five thousand naira you could reach uh, two six two thousand four hundred to six thousand nine hundred um persons with um So the estimated conversion of a 4 to 18. Now, you notice that uh, the more you increase your budget, the higher the conversion for the day is. But don't look at that. You see, it has now got up to 7 to 28 conversions in a day. But that's not the case. It, it, may, it may be sometimes, in fact, it can be way, way more than this in a day. Depending on how professional you are in setting up your ad, sometimes it could be less than that if you don't know how to set up set your ad. Where especially if your creatives are not fine and your offer isn't that appealing, then it may get less 
or more. It's not typical, but this is just an estimate. What I'm saying is that this is just an estimate that Facebook is giving here. It can be way more than that. It can as well be less than that if you didn't do it well. Now, um, you now see that uh, because we changed the audience, we have now said that uh, this is a detailed targeting. And uh, it is here. Okay. We are asking that the detail targeting is uh, here. But what is off is a detail targeting expansion. But we are saying you've been able to choose the interests, the people who you want to see your ad by the action we did. Then you move on. The next is placements. You have automatic placements and manual placements. I will always say don't use automatic placements. Choose for yourself where you want your ad to be placed. Don't let Facebook just choose it for you. You have Facebook audience. Um, okay, Facebook audience network and uh, Instagram. If you want it to be shown on um, Facebook and uh, Instagram, it's up to you. If you want it to be shown only on Facebook, then you deactivate Instagram. But if you want it to be shown only on Instagram, it means you have to deactivate uh, Facebook. You know, but for the sake of this training, it is or for the sake of this, um, yeah, we are using a uh, Facebook, which is where I like to do my own ads. Okay, so it is Facebook now. You can as well select where you want it to show on Facebook, where you want it on marketplace or new uh, news feed which I prefer most. I prefer Facebook feed most, more than anywhere else. However, you can leave it in all the places you want. You choose for yourself. But then the, from my experience, the most effective place remains the Facebook feed, rather. So having selected uh, where you want it to be, we now move on. I hope you understand this area on how I, the twist I made there to be able to use the detail targeting even when Facebook say it is not there. If you really understand, if you if you understand it, if you understand what I did there, give me a thumb up, man. Give me a clap, a round of applause for me. Clap for me. It is not everyone that can show you this because not everyone knows it. You know. Okay, so we go to the next section of the ad setup, and now it is a to properly set the ad itself, we give our ad name. So we still use um, WhatsApp ad training one. So this is the Facebook page we are using. It's already there. So no need to, because we chose this in the other time. We are not changing it. We are not changing it. We can't even change it. So select a page at the ad set level for this ad. You must select a page to represent your business at the ad set level. This same page will automatically be selected for your ad. We already selected that in the ad set level. So you scroll down. Then the next is to create the ad that you want to use. Usually in this type of ad, I prefer creating the ad on the Facebook page already, so that I simply select it and put it up here instead of me to start creating the ad. So if you say create the ad, it means you start creating the ad that you want to use with a single image or video, or you can use a uh, carousel for your ad. But I want to use a 16 post, which I already made on the WhatsApp. And I say select post. It's either you have existing posts or you create the post. But because I've created the post already, I just go ahead and choose the post that I want. These are the 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 posts here. This is um okay. Let me choose this first. Okay. 
there is okay um call to action they are requesting call to action the send whatsapp message call to action button is required for existing post using the message objective it's not the problem so we this is the call to action button say no call to action button now what is this call to action button if you select a post with a send button your original post will continue to open the same message the call to action button i want you to take a look at this look at this you see the way the place this place is so someone may not even understand the reason for the post you know but then if you select call to action send whatsapp message is a call to action update post okay now take a look at this again you see the call to action button is here now so someone can now whatsapp you directly after seeing what you have put up here the person can whatsapp you directly See, we sell top quality wears shoes and the rest of them whatsapp there is another advantage of using already created posts for your ad of this nature you see that uh, with the post your ad can show different aspects or different this, since we're using a clothing for example as the example here you can now see that uh, from one ad you are showcasing up to one two three twelve clothings so one two three plus nine here so someone can now be opening the um the things that you are the images and be seeing different different images that is one benefit of using already uh, prepared uh, already made a post in doing this and these ones are showing you different ways or different places that this ad will be placed how they will be this is a, the news feed this is how it will be on the news feed this is a facebook marketplace this is how it will appear there then this is a, for the stories you know the facebook stories this is how it will appear for the stories Not even appearing clearly. That is why I always prefer to use uh, the Facebook feed, which I know is the most effective and uh, most converting. That's where the most conversion comes. So, having done this, having done this, everything is set up now appropriately. You take a look at it. You have set up the ad so when once you click publish because that is the only thing left the moment you click publish facebook will review your ad and then you start getting customers on your whatsapp directly the moment someone click whatsapp right when the moment someone sees this your ad and click whatsapp you get the person's uh, chat immediately and you reply and make yourself that is how beautiful it is. It is easy. You can easily do this for yourself. It does not take anything to do. You can do it. So go and uh, start practicing to do it. You need a help from me to do it, then I'm always available to run your ads for you at any given time. But you must have the budget. Yes, you must have the budget to run your ads. You cannot run Facebook ads with empty pockets. You have your budget set and then you have a um my own service charge too for you okay now but there is something we skipped here say message templates choose a template for beginning the chat after people tap on your you can create a new template say hi please let us know how we can help you questions and responses can i learn more about your business add a response so there is you can edit this if you already have a existing one you use the existing one but if you don't have uh, any existing one you create the message that you want people to get that is to say the moment that tap um the moment that uh, this, this is where you did if, if you click this link 
you edit this message, you know. So you put the text, greetings, hi, please let us know how we can help you. That if that is what you want, you know, then uh, you can even include image if you want. Yes. Then this is the button here, ask for availability. So the person can ask, is this available or, or how much? Or um, what size is this? You get that. Thanks for your interest. We'll get back to you with pricing. You know, such thing. So the moment the person will click is is an auto response store. As the person clicks the button, at the button, how much you respond, or you can even since there are many of them there, you can simply put for the person to ask for the availability. You no, know, is it available? You change this. Yes, it's available. Yes, is available. Was your size? Was your size or whatever question you want to ask the person? Was your size? Okay. Yes, it's available. What's your size? You know, so such thing you. Message, message on WhatsApp. Can I learn more about your business? Can you tell me more about your ad? Is anyone available to chat? Right, all these are things that uh, people can see when you are chatting with them. All you need to know is all you need to do is uh, fill up these questions with what you want yourself. People will respond to it. Receive and uh, finish. And that's it. You click publish, and then Facebook will immediately. No, you're not using a. Is it you, the one you created that you're using? You create it yourself. You create new one. Yeah, the one we just edited. You know, so when you you publish and then your ad, we automatically on Facebook we update your um we review your ad and publish it, and you start getting customers on your WhatsApp. That is a um, that is in your creating ad that run traffic directly to your WhatsApp page.